Hello and welcome to part 2 of the panel explanations. I am WB Query 23 and here today we will be covering the epic, legendary, and unique pedals. If you have not seen part 1 to the series, there is a link in the description and go watch that. We will also be using all of the same stats for each pedal in this video as we did in the last. Let's get started with the epics. There are two common statistics that you should know that apply to all epics. The first one is that once you sell these pedals, you get 200 points in return. The second is that the pedal despawns after 50 seconds after it hits the ground. There are 10 epic pedals, so let's get started. The first pedal up is the Epic Cactus, also known as the Iris Cactus. It is the advanced version of the Rare Cactus. Like the Cactus, the pedal's health is 15, the reload time is 1 second, and its damage is 5 HP. It also increases your max health by 20 HP, and it is also stackable with other cacti unless you are overleveled. What sets it apart from the Rare Cactus? is it also does poison or iris damage, 6 HP on impact to another flower or mob, and 40 HP on body damage. The body damage is spread out like an iris, and only the cactus mob drops this petal, and it drops it 0.1% of the time. Next up is corn. It is a useful petal if you are trying to get a lot of mileage out of your petals. You can get this petal from work rants 0.6% of the time. It has 2,000 health, but only does 1 HP of damage per hit, and its DPS is 2.29. Once it has hit an object, instead of the pedal dying and reloading, it will pass by and continue rotating with the other pedals. The only downside to the pedal, it is small in comparison to the other pedals, about the size of a fast, and its reload time is a whopping 35 seconds, the longest by far of any other pedal. Next is an unusual type of pedal, no pun intended. The Epic Egg. This is the first petal in the egg line, the second being a legendary egg, which BD will talk about in the legendary petal segment. The Epic Egg has a one second reload time, however on top of that, the egg itself takes an additional one second to spawn a soldier ant and to attack nearby mobs and flowers. The soldier ant has 40 health and 10 body damage. It prioritizes attacking flowers over mobs, and the egg itself has 1 HP of damage and DPS where the ant has 10 DPS. Queen ants and anthills themselves drop eggs both at a 6% chance. Our fourth petal is the heaviest, my favorite epic. This is the better version of the rare rock that P1 talked about in the first part of this series. It is extremely good at defending and getting quick hits on enemy flowers. This petal is similar to corn, the petal I mentioned earlier, however some features set it apart. It is a lot bigger one of the biggest in size, and its reload time is 15 seconds less than corn at 20 seconds. It has 200 health and does 10 HP of damage per hit. Also, unlike corn, it can do multiple hits on one object before dying or continuing to rotate around the flower. It does 4 DPS, and the boulder mob drops it at 0.3% of the time. The next petal, like the heaviest, also evolves from a rare petal, peas. These are epic peas or iris peas. They have 20 health, each pea having 5 HP, and a 1.4 second reload time. Each pea shoots out upon left click. Each pea does 8 HP of initial damage and 10 HP of poison damage. The DPS that this pedal does is 12.86, and you can get it from a centipede and evil centipede, 0.05% and 1% respectively. Our 6th and 7th epic pedals will be discussed together, and they are the triplet and pollen. These both are 3-in-1 deals with 3 segments per pedal. They both have 5 health, a 1 second reload time, they both do 8 damage, and both do 24 DPS. What separates the pollen from the triplet, however, is that the triplet acts like a normal pedal and moves in and out with the other pedals. But pollen drops upon left or right click and lasts for 5 seconds on the ground. When you right click, they drop in a cluster, and when you left click, they drop far away. How to get pollen is a bit complicated. When a flower dies, it has a 1% chance to drop pollen instead of a rare or higher tier petal. On the other hand, triplets drop from baby ants, 0.06% chance, worker ants, 0.06%, beetles, 0.03%, centipedes, 0.01%, soldier ants, 0.04%, yellow ladybugs, 0.2%, question mark ladybugs, or dark ladybugs, 0.2%, evil centipedes, 0.3%, Massive beetles, 1%, and the queen ant, 1%. Next up is rice. Rice has 1 health and does only 5 damage. 
You're probably thinking that rice is pretty bad, but wait. Rice's whole feature is that it gets quick hits on the opponent or mobs. It has a .04 second reload time, and its DPS is an astounding 125, the best in the game. It drops from a baby ant at .5%. This pedal is also especially good when it's paired up with two yin yangs, as you see in the video. I will talk about yin yangs later. Next up is the only healing epic, the Epic Rose, or as I like to call it, the Rose Pedal, because it looks the most like an actual pedal. It has 5 health and a 3.5 second reload time. However, it hesitates for an additional 1 second before it heals you. Its damage is 5 HP and its DPS is 1.43. This pedal heals you 22 HP, more than double the rare Triple Rose. Our final epic pedal is the Yin Yang. Yin Yang has some interesting features when stacked with other Yin Yangs. When there is 1, 4, or 7 Yin Yangs in your lineup, it reverses the rotation of your pedals. When there are 2 or 5 Yin Yangs in your lineup, it makes your pedals stop completely. And when there are 3, 6, or 0 Yin Yangs in your lineup, your pedal rotation stays the same. However, when there are 8 Yin Yangs in your lineup, your pedals go at supersonic speeds, faster than 8 faster. Here's a clip of BD using 8 Yin Yangs. Pretty impressive. Now let's talk about the stats. It has 15 health, a 1 second reload time, it does 15 damage, and does 15 DPS. It drops from question mark ladybugs at a 2% chance. And that is all of the epic petals there are in the game of Florio. We discussed the Irish cactus, corn, the egg, the heaviest, peas, pollen, rice, the rose petal, triplet, and the yin yang. Thanks for watching this segment. I'll send it over for BD to do the legendary petals. Hello, my name is WBBD, and I'm up to explain the legendary petals of Floor.io. Let's start out with my absolute personal favorite, the legendary stinger or triple stinger. This thing smacks, and I mean smacks, with 35 damage for each of the three stingers. The pedal can pack a total punch of 105 damage. The main downside is that each of the stingers only has a durability of 8, making it less tough than a basic. With a mediocre 4 second reload time, it's a truly a pedal designed for all out attack. This pedal is great with bubbles, and I have gotten uh, some great builds with it, such as the ones shown on screen. The next pedal up is Antennae, which is the only pedal in Floor.io that doesn't rotate around your flower. Instead, it actually appears on top of your flower, thus making it look like your flower has antennae. Its ability is that it increases the vision of your flower, allowing you to things, see things further away. The distance that you can see is increased by approximately 45%. This pedal cannot stack, meaning that if you get two antennae, you only receive the increased vision of one. Here's a photo without antennae. And then here's a photo with antennae, so that you can see the difference. Alright, on to legendary peas. These are peas that pack a punch with both damage and poison. Upon attacking, four peas will shoot out at 90 degree angles from the ones next to them. Each pea has a damage on impact of 10 and a poison effect of 20 damage, meaning they do 30 damage total per pea on hitting an opponent. Each pea has a durability of 30 and a short reload of only 1.4 seconds. I really like this pedal, as it can be used in a variety of builds, such as the ones shown on your screen. Alright, Legendary Webs are up now. Legendary Webs are great, as each of the three webs can slow down a player or a mob by 75%. If an entity is caught in the, all three of the overlapping webs, they can only move at 1.6% of their maximum speed. This makes it awesome for surviving and escaping sticky situations. Each of the three webs has a durability of 5 and does 8 damage, and has a reload time of 3 seconds. As you can see by these stats, it isn't really a me pedal meant for hitting your opponent with, but rather a pedal for shooting and getting your opponent stuck in, so that they are easier to kill or can be ran away from. They are effective in a lot of builds, such as some of the ones shown here on screen. The Legendary Egg, an egg that spawns in a pet beetle that will help you kill everything in your path. The beetle itself does 35 damage and has 40 health, making it do the same damage as a stinger, while having 5 times the durability. The egg takes 1.5 seconds to reload and an additional 1 second to hatch, meaning it takes 2.5 seconds to spawn in a new pet beetle each after each time your beetle dies. The actual egg itself has a durability of 50 and does 1 damage. The e legendary egg is a good defensive pedal, as it has a beetle that helps to protect you from other players and mobs and doesn't require input, but it can also do a lot of damage to your opponents, making it helpful on the attack. It can be used in a great deal of builds, 
such as the one shown on screen that I've obtained it in. Finally, the tank of all tanks, the legendary cactus or triple cactus. This pedal increases your health by a whopping 40 hit points. This means that if you had 8 triple cacti equipped, you would have a total of 350 health, making a triple stinger do less than a third of your health. Each cactus making up a triple cactus does 5 damage, for a total of 15 damage for the pedal, and each cactus has 10 durability, for a total of 30 durability of the pedal. It is, in my opinion, by far the best defensive pedal. It can destroy your opponent's pedals and allows you to take tons of damage. It pairs very well with Salt, as you can take a lot of damage and reflect 35% of your damage back to your opponent. It works well in many builds, such as some of mine that I've obtained on screen. Thanks, BD, on all of the great information on the legendaries. Now I'm going to send it over to Pancake to talk about the uniques. Uniques are the rarest petals in floor. There are two unique petals, the square and the basic. They have almost the same set stats as the common basic, with the exception of the trash XP, which is 2,500 points for both uniques, compared to the common basic zero trash XP. The square, which is a yellow square, and the basic, which is a common basic but with white particles coming off of it, both reload in 2.5 seconds of it and have 10 damage, 10 health, and 4 damage per second. How is either unique pedal better than the common basic? It's not, statistically speaking, unless you trash it. The square pedal can only drop from the square mob, which is a yellow square, similar to the pedal itself. The square mob can spawn anywhere in the game and has a 100% chance of dropping a square, unless the square pedal is already in the game. The unique basic can only be gotten by being extremely lucky and spawning with it in easy. Instead of having 5 common basics, you would have 4 common and 1 unique basic. Only one unique basic can be in the game at a time. Why would you want to put either unique pedal in? It's a great way to flex and get lots of people to attack you. And that is it for all of the Florio pedal explanations. We have explained all 38 pedals. If you haven't seen part one of this series, go check it out here. And a big thanks to Admiral Thon's stat sheet, as most of the information comes from his sheet. A link in the description. Go check that out. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to keep the game of Florio alive. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. This has been WB4023, WBBD, and WB Pancake, signing out.